To add an assembly to your Coral Plus library, first you have to log into their website and create it on that side. So I'm going to click on the Create button here. And that will open up a page where I can navigate the different components and select the component that I'm starting with. And you can navigate by tool type here and keep on filtering out different different uh, things until you get a final list that you can choose from. And you can display that list in different ways here. And you can also search and apply filters. So I'm going to search for an insert here. And it comes up with the insert that I'd like. Let's say this one here. And I would just click the item in the list. Either the main list or if I'm searching for it, you can see it's filtered out everything else now. And I'm going to click on that insert there. And it's going to take me to the, the uh, quick building page here for my assembly. And it'll show a component tree here. And your goal is just to add everything together the way that you would like your assembly to be. So I'm going to add a component. And it'll filter out. And these are the different components that would attach to that insert. And so depending on what kind of tool that you're making, a uh, different number of components can be used and put together. I'm going to pick this boring bar here, for example, and it'll build the assembly there and I can keep on adding. But whenever I'm ready to go, I can give it a name here. Let's call it. And I'm going to click on the build assembly. I can give it description, classification, etc., etc. And that will build the models, put them all together. And once I have a result, it'll display it in the page here. And so I can take a look. And there you can see that it's added that insert to that boring bar. And now I can save that assembly. And that will add it to my library. And then in the next step, I can load it. Now loading, you can export a package if you'd like. And I'm going to hop over to the Gib side as well to show you another method. So now I'm on the Gibbs Cam side of things. And if I've saved a file that I'd like to open in Gibbs Cam, then I can do that now. And you can save it as a, a basic model or complex model and import it as a solid and apply it as a tool. Or for a more direct method, you can also go in the plugins menu, go to the Coral Plus tool library, and log in with the same credentials. And that'll take you to your account and give you a list of the assemblies that you've built. So you can see it loading here. And I have the assembly. And that's the one I just made. I'm going to click on it there. It's asking me the orientation. I'm going to give it that. And then it imports the tool into my program nice and quickly. Whenever you have a tool assembly that you'd like to save into Tool Manager IQ, such as this one here, you can see that the assembly is of the Sandvik insert and the tool holder from Coral Plus. I'm going to navigate to the tools menu here in the tools submenu. I'm going to select that tool and I'm going to import from Gibbscam. That's going to create the files for me and open up this prompt and I can go through and do the regular stuff if I want to add this to a group or add some supplier information here. As long as I'm happy with it, I can press OK, and that will load it in. And since I have a custom tool holder here, it's going to load the tool holder into the holders section and keep these associated as an assembly. So same kind of thing here. I can pick a holder class if I'd like, different image, different name. When I'm happy with it, I can press OK, and that's now added to the list. Now the next time that I want to use that tool, 
it's going to be right here for me and I can filter to it or I can choose the group that it's part of and if I'm ready to program and that's the tool I want to use I'm going to go find it and I'm going to export to Gibbscan and that's going to send it over you can see it's put the bodies in the bag here and now I have that tool ready to go for my program.